Welcome to the Lynn Lowdown, a show we're going to talk about some events happening in the city of Lynn. Uh, today we're going to talk about boxing and some, some Lynn youths are going to be qualifying for Olympic trials next month. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Mukala Kabongo, and with me today I got two special young men, some, fight, some young fighters who are eager to get this Olympic trial started. Uh, first, let's get to meet our guests. Um, nice to meet you. Thank you for having us. How's it going? Good. All right. So these, these are my guests. Uh, Ar Aramas Moldano, Moldanado. Am I saying that right? Yeah, yeah. All right. And Moses Zarillo. So these guys, um, they recently just fought, and uh, they qualified to the next round as a part of uh, the Olympic trials. So, I mean, let's get to know what happened down there. So how did you guys, how did you guys first start? Um, I first started um, in Rivera Brothers when I was little. And then I stopped for a while because it was hard to get to Somerville. And then I stopped, and then I heard about Alex's gym. Then I, I stopped by, and then I loved it after that. So you guys, so you guys are, this, this is pretty big, um, Olympic trial. This is like, you know, you guys are like in the next, in the next phase of like getting there, so... How, so how are you feeling right now? How, how's, the, how's the momentum going? It hasn't hit me yet. Like, it's, it feels unreal. Like, every day I'm like asking me, really, like, you really better go to the trials. Like, if you win this, like, keep asking myself that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For you, Moses? Fue un preparamiento bien, preparamiento fuerte para llegar ahí. Y estamos ahí, gracias a Dios. I saw, um, who did you, uh, who did you get a fight to, to get into the... Um, who did I have to fight? Yeah. Um, a 16-year-old kid. I don't know his name. But it was a tough fight, though. Uh, how many rounds did you go with him? Three. We only go three minute rounds. Uh, three, three minutes. And, and with that, how, how, how did you feel? Uh, how did you prepare yourself for that? Because that's a big stage. Well, I prepared myself by running and doing sprints, sparring with him, and putting the work in the gym. Mm -hmm. Listening to my coach. All right. And for Moses, how did you prepare for for that fight? Uh, to to win that fight. Entrenamiento fue fuerte. Fue entrenaba dos veces al día, una por la mañana y la otra a las cuatro de la tarde. Fue un preparamiento fuerte. So in like the weeks of leading up to this, like you know, this is like you know, this is just the first step in a bigger goal that you're you're trying to accomplish and. You being from the city of Lynn, how would that, how would you feel if you're able to to make it and represent your city? It would be an honor. It would be an honor to represent my city, my country, mm -hmm. and it um to bring pride back to Lynn, mm -hmm. bring boxing back. And w when did you um? How old were you when you first got into boxing? I was like around eight. Mm -hmm. and then I stopped for a while, and I came back when I was like fourteen. Oh, okay. And Moses, how, how old were you when you started boxing, and how do you feel now that you're almost there qualifying for the Olympics? Bueno, empecé a boxear a eso de la de ocho años de edad con mi hermano, pero nunca nunca tuve siempre en el boxeo. Ahora fue que vine a prepararme fuerte para lograr las metas que voy a cumplir. Uh, and for for the training, what kind of um for training and for you to get ready, um, how did uh, Alex prepare you? I know you said that's your trainer. Um, well, we usually work out sometimes hard. We do like hours workouts and we do pads. We train, we practice what we need to do in a fight. And he tells us what some mistakes, what we're doing wrong, mm -hmm. tries to fix them. Okay. And Moses, since, uh, you guys went down to Tennessee, so how was it just seeing another state? Bueno, me voy a sentir medio raro, pero tengo que estar acostumbrado a eso, ya que de esto se trata ese deporte y para adelante siempre. All right. And now that you guys, you know, if, if you guys don't know, these two young men are, they're going to be qualifying for Olympic trials. Um, they, won, they won their fight this past weekend down in Tennessee, so they're just moving forward to the next round, and we're, we're going to be cheering them on. So explain to me, like, <laughs> I know I'm not a boxer, so explain yeah. to me like how do you, how do you have to be mentally focused in a stage like that? Um, you gotta be mentally focused. You gotta block everything out before a fight. Mm -hmm. You can't let the crowd or your family or 
or your dad or anything get in the way of that. You get, mm -hmm. you need to know what you gotta do when you get in the ring. Mm -hmm. You gotta listen to your corner. Bueno, yo me preparo bien. Siempre estoy pendiente al boxeo. Siempre estoy concentrado. No, gracias a Dios por todo. Estamos bien preparados. All right, and um, so for this, uh, so for the next round, this is gonna be bigger, more at stake. So, what are you guys, what are you guys going to do to uh, prepare yourself and make sure that you're you're as ready as you were the last fight? Well, I'm going to do everything I can to win this. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna, if I have to go an extra mile, I will go an extra mile. Mm -hmm. I will give it all I have in the ring. Okay. Bueno, me prepare más, me prepararé más fuerte para para llegar a esa meta. Si, si corría 20 minutos, ahora voy a correr 40 minutos. Voy a estar 100% preparado para llegar allá. Uh, and lastly, before you go, can you guys just just tell everybody about this experience, this entire experience? How how's it been for you? I mean, it's only just the beginning. You guys you guys aren't looking to stop anytime soon. So just tell everybody like. What, what did you gain from, from the, your last fight that, you could, that you're going to take to the next one and just the overall experience? Um, the overall experience is that you got to come a little bit more prepared because it's going to fight kids with 200 fights. And you just have to be mentally ready, physically be ready. And you can't let nobody and nothing stop or get in the way of your dreams. Bueno, la gente misma va, va a ver este, los cambios que voy a hacer en el ring porque voy a estar preparado y la gente va a ver muy se diferente, muy se puesto para para dar buen espectáculo. All right. And and here we guys are, we're wishing you guys luck. Good luck with everything. You know, you guys keep fighting hard. Hopefully you guys make that make it to the next round and hopefully go on to the Olympics and achieve all your goals. But you guys are doing great. Stay on the positive side. As long as you guys are keep fighting, we'll be, we'll be here to support you guys. I just want to thank you guys for coming on. Thank you very much. And, thank and you. on that note, my name is Mukal Kabongo. I've been your host, and we'll see you next time here on the Win Lowdown. Have a good day.